would sound like a lot of the, the legwork prior to these um, projects paying off becomes uh, the, the, the front end, the front loading, uh, and developing relationships, which I think MFTs are, are very good at. Oh, absolutely. I, um, it, you know, it's similar to Mnuchin's joining. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't just, you know, ready, fire, aim. You yeah. know, it, it's, it, you really want to, to learn and, and, and be a learner uh, to these systems before you go in and say, hey, I know how to do it. Um, the metaphor that we oftentimes use is like a kid on the playground um, uh, when you're jumping rope, you know, your friends are swinging the rope. Mm -hmm. um, and you got to get a, a sense of the rhythm of that rope before you jump, before you jump in. Yeah. And, and that's by having conversation, you know, uh, with the Santa Project, uh, we were hanging out and talking to students uh, during the break, and we were going to different classes. Uh, with the Hmong community, we were going to different organizations. Uh, we went to the Hmong Pharmacy, we went to the 18 Elder Council Clan meeting, um, you know, with the American Indian uh, community, uh, we were invited to go to powwows, you know, and, and, and to learn and to meet people. And you... You do that, you know, I'm just trying, you know, as I go through different projects in my head, usually for a good couple of months, if not longer, um, before you even start getting to the, okay, who officially should we gather and invite to start having the conversation? And then you do that usually for a couple of months. And then you say, okay, who else needs to be here? Uh, so you can spend three, four, five months um, just talking uh, before you actually start saying, okay, now, what do we need to know? Now, what else do we need to know? Um, what is going on well? Who else do we need to talk to? As then, that knowledge starts to, to form and the intervention starts to come together, or interventions, plural. So that's interesting because traditionally when somebody starts to study and, and they're located in a university or they're located in some kind of a, a system with structure, they, they fill out a human subjects review and uh, mm -hmm. so when does IRB, when does the human subjects, when does that come in here? Because you might be having mm -hmm. these three, four months of discussions, mm -hmm. and as you've described it, that's all part of this research plan. You are doing research. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and yet, how would, I, how would I fill out my IRB with that? I want to chat with people for three or four months and then mm -hmm. develop instruments that I'll let you know about later. And, and we don't exactly know what kind of intervention we're going to do. We have no clue. Or who we're going to do the intervention on, right. or what we're going to look for. Yeah. Um, when I first started at the University of Minnesota a few years back as a faculty member, I had gone away to North Carolina. It was uh, ironic that I came back to the same place I went to school, but it all worked. <laughs> um, when I first came back and I was talking with uh, different faculty here, and they were kind of scratching their heads going, what is this action research stuff that uh -huh. you're doing? Because especially uh, a couple years back, it was a lot less known um, yeah. here. Um, I, it was one of the best pieces of advice I got. Uh, they said, as a junior faculty member, um, doing a type of research that not very many people know about yet, um, I think it would be a good idea for you to join the IRB. Mm -hmm. And so I did. And I served on the IRB for five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been just a tremendous learning opportunity for me because I think oftentimes IRBs are perceived by researchers as an adversary or a hoop to jump. And um, I found that IRBs are actually, or at least the University of Minnesota IRB and, and different IRB conferences that I've gone to through them, I, mean, I think I can speak in plural. Uh, IRBs want you to create knowledge and want the university and, and its faculty to succeed, especially now in these university community partnerships that are getting more and more attention. Um, the way that you um, do this type of research as it relates to the IRB is you start a conversation and a process. Most IRB applications as we know it or as we teach them are an event. You turn in the application and you get either rejected or you get a uh, yes with stipulations <coughs> or, or you get a go for it. Uh, usually you don't get a go for it. You get a you know uh, yes with stipulations. Right. Um, and then you're good and then you might talk to them a year later for the annual report you know, or you might submit a final report when your research is done, um, or you might do an adverse uh, event reporting if something goes right. wrong. Um, but the IRB is really not connected to the ongoing nature of the work. Mm -hmm. Now, because action research is a moving target and it's always evolving, what you do, and, and, and this I just learned by being in the IRB and talking with them and they're scratching their head going, so tell us what about is this, this, right? Is to say, in your IRB application, I am going to start a process, and we're going to keep talking along the way, okay, that what I'm going to do here is 
Um, I've already had some conversations with people. There seems to be some traction. So what we're going to do is we're going to start inviting some people to the table. We're going to, we have a, a process in different ways that we facilitate those meetings. Um, and, 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 you know, we could outline that and, excuse me, show references to, to say that we're not just winging it. Yeah. And then as we go forward, we're going to invite another group of people or other people in to the conversation. Um, and then we're going to identify strengths or assets in the community, which is important because it's not just a needs assessment, you know, what's wrong. You know, if we're going to tap resources and knowledge, we need to do that. Um, and then we're going to create interventions that are focused on fill in the blank, on smoking, on depression, on homelessness, on cigarette, you know, whatever. Um, and what we're going to do is as we go through that, we're going to stay connected with you and any time and every time we move on to a different facet of this journey, we're going to be coming back to you and talking about it. Okay? And so what happens then, and what's happened at Minnesota with the IRB, is that we have several projects in action research that are going on, and it's actually kind of fun because they want the update. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like watching a, a TV show and, and next week you turn in to, to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So for example, with that smoking project, I think that we're on our 17th or 18th um, uh, change of protocol. You know, that's the form that it comes in to say, this is where we are at now. You know, the students are coming up with this new idea and this, this new intervention, and this is what we'd like to launch. And because the IRB is familiar enough with the project, it's not like it needs a full review. They go, okay, um, you know, uh, we'll stipulate or why don't you clarify this, or at this point they, they oftentimes say, yeah, I think that sounds good, it, it makes sense with, with the other things that you have mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. um, with our American Indian uh, community, same thing, um, where now what we're moving into is, is comparing the intervention group to an electronic controlled electronic control group because in the American Indian community it's not uh, culturally um, uh, appropriate to say well now that now that we're really into this intervention we're going to do a randomized control trial or we're going to you know any mini many mo and, and you can't participate in something that's owned by the community but you can mm -hmm. and so now we're using uh, electronically matched patients from clinic data sets against the uh, group and the intervention and uh, that's consistent with with most conventional types of research that the IRB is familiar with so they're able to then uh, you know move forward and, and start approving that because they understand the evolution of the project and so uh, you know and I, I, I could tell you the story across a, a variety of other interventions but the common theme is that you are and very transparently so write a this is the first time you're going to hear from me of many times type of application instead of the event, yes or no, and then I'll talk to you at my annual report, you know, kind of uh, format of working.